Hi guys, welcome back to DevOps Community once again. In today's video, we are going to learn about AWS Cloud Formation. So we are going to create our infrastructure using Azure DevOps CI CD pipeline. So we are going to fully automate and create our infrastructure to a pipeline. So first we learn what is a cloud formation. So AWS Cloud Formation can help us to build our infrastructure, uh, it's provides uh, it's provide uh, you with a simple way to create and manage a collection of AWS resources by provisioning and updating them in an orderly and predictive predictable way. So, in a simple term, it's allow you to create the model, your infrastructure and application without having to perform of action manually. So AWS Cloud Formation enable you to manage your complete infrastructure or a collection of text file or templates like a stacks. A stack is something that you map your value of templates that you return in YAML or maybe a JSON. And whenever you apply your stacks, it's going to be a great your in protection. If you're having any changes, you can update it and it's going to be ready. So, without wasting any time, let's jump into our Azure DevOps portal and make a pipeline for it. So, for that, you have to move your Azure DevOps portal. So, make a pipeline for it. First, you have to authenticate your server and I'm making a IAM role for it. So that was a name of his stacks. That was a connection of my AWS. And that was a reason that we are going to create in this reason. And that was a template key object that we are getting from S3 bucket. And that was an object key path. So that's it. Let's make a save and queue. And once you make save and queue, the pipeline isn't going to be run. So it will take five to 10 seconds, something inside the job. And if you see into my AWS portal, there is no stacks is available on it. So let me go. So let's check out the code. Once they check out the code, they can analyze the job and make a make cloud formation stacks for me. So it will take two to three minutes something. Let's configure the job. And if you back to your console, so and refresh the piece, there is something. Oh, it stacks. So, it stacks creating progress. Just click there. The stack info. Just. So right now, we'll just go back to your stacks and that was your stacks. So right now it's creating right now and pipeline, I think successfully run. Yeah, right now that's creating the resources and once pipeline successfully run, then we can personalize the job. So your infrastructure will be ready can check it out all those value event resource output and you can roll back from there and uh, if you having any changes in your codes or templates you can update your template and apply and it can be updated and your infrastructure will be again ready so that was a code that we are using the template that was a template so if you see 
any kinds of doubts or any kinds of error so take a screenshot and post in comment below i will reach it out to you thank you and bye bye